Let's see if this is going to work for us. Right, off we jolly well go. Good morning. Is it all live? Are we here? Good morning. Uh, oh, it's quite fresh today. Is anybody here? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Are my hands working? I think I've got everything going. The volume's going. The microphone's on. <laughs> Camera number one. Camera number two. Voila. Camera number three. I adjusted that a little bit. Good morning. Is anybody here yet? Am I on my own? I'm early to the party again because I need to check. I want to make sure that everything's cool. Here they come. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to have your company again. Well, what are we going to do when everything's okay again? Are we going to carry on doing this? It's very quickly become a part of my routine, this daily doodling. Has it yours as well? I, uh, I'm enjoying it immensely. I hope you are too. And I hope it's serving its purpose, you know, because in the end, what this is all about is about clearing the mind, getting with our hands, getting out of our heads, which used to mean something completely different back in the day, right? We're going to get out of our heads, we're going to get with our hands and we're going to doodle away and we're just going to doodle the blues away. And all the worry and all the anxiety and all that stuff is just going to be set to the side while we concentrate on what we're doing. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Grab a seat. There's loads of space. Bring your tea with you. Oh, it's quite fresh up here this morning. Because I'm above a garage. There's no heating underneath. And in the afternoon, the sun pours in and then it's like an oven. <laughs> it's good to have your company. Oh, best drink of the day. What would we Brits do if we didn't have tea, eh? See, if I drink coffee, I get anxious. Does that happen to you too? I could drink tea till the cows come home. But, but coffee, two coffees and I'm wired. Mm. Anyway, good morning, good morning. Come on in, don't worry about me waffling. Grab a seat. Have you got your pencils? Have you got your pens? Have you got your glasses? You need your glasses. Um, have you got a rubber, a rubber, an eraser? I get excited. An eraser. Have you brought your friends with you? I need a sharpener as well. We don't need much though, do we? Really? Let's have a look. 9.58. Woo! Okay. 9.58. And we're all going. It says live. It says live. And we're recording. And that's working. And you're there. And you're all in the building. Good morning. Let me just say good morning. So far away, I have to lean over. Excuse me. Leaning over. Hang on. Good morning, Gemma. Wendy. Hello, Roz, Zena, Leslie. Nice to see you all, Ken. Welcome to the party, Ken. Ken Kilminster, good man. I hope that Anita's uh, feeling a bit better. She had a fall in the garden. Hope she's better, Ken. Hope she's... Uh... Hey, get her doodling. She'll enjoy it. Right, where's Sheila? Sheila should be there too. Good morning, Fran, with a plan. Ha <laughs> oh, ha. It's lovely to see you all. It's good to have your company. Right, and I think it's one minute two. And so today I was going to, well, I'll start, I won't start yet because some people are only going to come to the party at 10 o'clock, isn't it? There's nothing worse than the film's already started. Nothing worse than turning on a film halfway through. You spend the rest of the time wondering who he is and what her job is, don't you? <laughs> um, I'm reading a good book at the moment. Well, reading Audible. 
really good. There's a, she, I think she's Australian. Her name is Kate Morton and she writes amazing books and she pings backwards and forwards between like 1800 and something and 1900 and something and 2000. But it's all interlocked and it's very, very, I find it very distracting as in escapism at its very best. And the book I'm reading at the moment is called um, The Forgotten Garden. It's really good. Very good indeed. The last one I read of hers was called The Clockmaker's Daughter, I think. That was another one that was really good. But I might be wrong there. I'd have to, I'd have to look that up for you. Anyway, I reckon it must be 10 o'clock now. Yeah, audible books, I find them very good for stepping out of reality. I think that's the way to put it. 10 o'clock and here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Grab a seat. You're not late. You're not late at all. You're bang on time. And uh, welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And you're going to say, oh no, not the hot air balloon again. Yes, the hot air balloon again. But actually what I want to do, let's just have a little recap. You ready? Are you ready? Pen poised, pencil poised. Let's go for it. So what we did was, we did the balloon, didn't we? And we did the weave yesterday. And if anybody is here, is new to the party, you can go back um, to either Clarity Facebook page and all the episodes are all in a folder together. Jim did that. Or you can go to YouTube and they're all on YouTube too. And so if you want to know how we did this and then transferred it to that, that we did yesterday, didn't we? We did this pattern. We did that pattern. We did the shape the day before. And so today to conclude, is everything okay? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I'm sure you can. To conclude the hot air balloon, I thought we'd try this beautiful pattern. Isn't that lovely? And it's a simple, simple doodle. It's so simple. Let's look at it up close and then you'll see what we're going to do today because I think you'll like this. Right, got a bit of a smudge there. Oh no, what's that smudge? Oh, it's hair. Okay, it's a doodle. Right, look at, so look, we've got the, the frame is the key. So we've got this frame with this netting, which is really nice. And then we've got the little tiny lines around the outside, spot the shading. Up, up and away, a little bit of shadow on there. Now, again, look at the trees. You know we did the fence, didn't we, when we did the house at Jackpool. And then we had those trees as a, as a, as a friendly option. So we're going to do those. A couple of birds, we did those last week or the week before. See the shadows, they're easy. So it just gives the illusion of a um, sunshine. There you go. Where there's a shadow, there must be light. And also, <laughs> check out me little fella. <laughs> Look at him. I had a right laugh about him yesterday. Look, either he's got a hat on, which I, which is what he's supposed to have, or he's got one hell of a hooter. Look at the size of his beak. <laughs> anyway, so I put a little fella in there as well. And now we want I want to show you how to do this frame. See, now the thing is, I hope you left. Say you say you haven't got enough room around your hot air balloon, don't worry about that. Just grab another bit of paper, forget the hot air balloon, and we'll just we'll just put him to one side and we'll just do the frame. You don't, you know, the hot air balloon, it's just me tying it in because that's what we do, isn't it? We take something, roll it into the next day, take it, roll it into the next day, roll it into the next day. And that way we get our lovely routine going. But if you haven't got enough room to put this guy in, park him and we'll just do the lovely frame. It's easy and it's very relaxing. And also, can I just suggest that you get a ruler if you haven't got one? Is it breaking the rules? Is it breaking the doodle rules <laughs> to bring a ruler into play? Because I think it might help us. And it's only for the pencil work. Um, when we do the pen work, we'll go freehand again. But a ruler would certainly help. If you've got a ruler, grab it now. Yeah? Alrighty, um, let's have a look and shall we get started? Good morning everybody, who's here? While you're having a look at that and digesting it and having a sip of tea, we can do this job. Let's have a look, gulp. Right, good morning, good morning. Yes, yeah, somebody else loves their books. Aye. 
Kate Morton, well worth reading. So we've got our we've got our, our balloon, and wherever it happens to be on your page, let's just assume you have got the balloon. You see, the thing about this frame is you can move it to set against your background because your balloon may be facing that way or your balloon may be straight. But the idea is that you don't have to have the balloon completely covered. Sometimes, this is a sort of a card making trick really, isn't it? Sometimes um, it's nice to have the central image out of the picture. See, so what we're doing here is, if you like, with a simple doodle, we're creating like an aperture. So we're looking through this hole and we're looking at the landscape in the background, you see? So and this and the fact that the large image is sitting outside, it, it kind of it creates that optical illusion of, a, of an opening like a window. Right. So the first thing we need, we're going with a pencil. We're going with. A, good morning, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Right. So I'm working with the. Um, with the doodled. Um, hot air balloon that I did yesterday. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my pencil. This is a lot easier than with a, and I'm going to, and I'm just going to sketch, like literally sketch my square, right? So what I want to do now is just sketch my, my outer edge, and this will give me my frame. So for example, I reckon that if I, if I put my my square, I reckon I can come down here like that, like that. So you could use your ruler if you feel right. And I'll, but I'll come down like so. Let's just get it in the right place first, really lightly. And then I might come along here. I think about there would be good. So that bit's sticking out underneath, maybe there. Right, and then we'll come along there like so. See? And then, actually, we could probably come up a bit higher. This might be a bit squarer than the other one. So you come round, see? And then you decide. I'm going to do the top next. So, because that's going to come round, the oval bit's going to be in there, isn't it? So I can maybe make this a bit taller, so we get a, a lot more of the loveliness. And then I'll come along here, ignoring all my pencil marks. That'll do. It's a doodle. Right, and then I'm going to come along here, and I think I'll probably, I'll cut it off there. So it's not so big. There you go. So that's going to be my outer frame. Can you see that okay? So it's going, it's going there. I'm happy with that. There. Then I'll come along here, and I'm going to cut across there like so, right? And you know, if you if you prefer to use a ruler even for this, then be my guest. But just get your shape in. There you go. That'll do. How you doing? There you go. That wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> that wasn't too hard at all. Okay. And then we want to do the circle on the inside. A little bit trickier. It's not a circle, it's an oval. Oh, it might end up being a circle. Because what we want, let's have a look at the original. What we want to do now is make the aperture in the centre. But we want to leave enough to make that lovely... If we make it too tight, too close to the edge, then you won't get any of this lovely netting, which is glorious. Okay, this is the doodle. This is today's doodle, this bit. So let's just get the shape right. So we're going to go again. And you can make the you can make the aperture as small as you like, can't you? Look, I'm going to go. Let me go to about there, maybe there. There you go. So I'm going to come round here, like that. And then I'll come round. I reckon I want to get it kind of about there, so it's a bit sort of symmetrical, kind of there. All right, round we go. And then go again. So it's like that, like that. And then this bit's going to come round here. So again, it would it would you'd be coming to about here if you were doing it properly. So I reckon that if I come round like that and like that, that's not bad. Hey, listen, if you can draw a hot air balloon, you can do this with your eyes shut. <laughs> Try it with your eyes open first. There you go. I'm going to let you catch up with me now. We're only. We're only nine minutes in and they're already breaking out in a sweat. Come on, this is supposed to be enjoyable. Remember, if I said it once, I've said it for about three weeks now, because this is how long we've been on our doodle journey together. There are no experts in the building. Nobody's being judged, except you, you you're your own worst judge. Nobody's judging you. There's, it's not a competition. You can't pass it or fail it. 
This is purely about letting go and having a having a, a doodle arty session. I mean, I think this is more than just doodling. Um, when you talk about doodling, I, I did a radio interview yesterday uh, and we were talking about this, which is really, I was so nervous, right? But the, um, the, the, the chap that I was speaking to, he was thinking of doodles, you know, like you do down the side of the page when you're at school or in a boring meeting. And I thought, well, this is a bit, bit more creative than that, isn't it? Because we're crafters, we want to really get our teeth into, and, um, into this. And, and I think that as we, as we keep going with this, what you'll find is, I've, I find even in, what, two and a half weeks, for me personally, my drawing, my drawing is getting better and better. What about yours? Mine is improving. I'm surprising myself. I actually am. So, so I'm ima I imagine, because I mean, I'm no, he called me an art, he called me an artist yesterday or an illustrator. I thought, oh, I didn't like to argue with him because we only had a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay. If you, if you think so. But I've only got O-level art. I'm no, I'm, I haven't got a degree in art. I'm self-taught, you know. Am I an artist? I'm every bit an artist. I'm as much an artist as you are. We've just got to unleash it, haven't we? We've got to unleash our cre creativity. Right, so get on with it, Grey. <laughs> don't say that to me, though, and don't tut, because I can't cope with tutting. Right, you ready? So now we've got our kind of our opening, yeah? I reckon that's going to look good. I might come in a little bit on that side. Now, the next thing we want to do is go for it. So get your number one pen out. Oh, I've got all the 005s going here. Right, number one pen. Right, we're going to commit now. And may I say, this looks a lot better if it's not drawn along a ruler. It just looks better. It looks more or, orig, original and authentic. So we're going to come down here like that. Just keep your eye on the road ahead. And... And the other thing I was going to say is, go slowly. Go slowly. You don't have to press too hard. And then we're going to come down there. Right, and then come down there. Whoa. Like so. And then turn it round. This is going to become a beautiful picture so quickly. This is the theory anyway. Right, you ready? Right from that corner now. Down we go. Down we go. Just keep going. This is the hardest bit, really, is getting the shape. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I keep saying, let's get these, you know, get the colouring pencils and the, the colouring postcards, because then that way we can do some colouring and it won't take us three days to get to something that we could colour in, right? Because we're all working off the same hymn sheet then. If you've got... If you've got if you've got a tenner to spare, then treat yourself to these postcards that we're talking about. I'll show them to you in a minute. I've got to concentrate here. Right, now we're going to go round again. Now, if we have a look, what we want to do, we want to give ourselves a doodle opportunity. See, so we're going to do a double edge. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me a little bit of groovy. This is, there's a groovy plate like this, isn't there? <laughs> right. So let's come along here like this. And let's make a double edge. Now, see, this is going to make a fantastic border. On the subject of groovy, we've been we put our heads together for this one because because we do our doodles. Well, hang on a minute, I've got to concentrate. Because we do our doodles from Monday to Friday. Then on the weekend, I get a break because I need to figure out what we're doing the following week. So what we thought was we would keep you company on Saturdays and Sundays as well because so many of you are parchers, aren't you? Groovy, groovy parchers, you know. And, and if you're not, I'm telling you, it is one of the most mindful processes. Uh, it's just such a wonderful pastime. So w what I was going to say was, right, that the, um, 
that on Fridays we want to present you with a project, a free digital download every Friday. This is for, for Parchers. And we're going we're gonna to load it up on Groovy Worldwide and then you can print it off and you can, well you don't, I'm not going to use that. Right, and then you can print it off and then you've got all weekend to do the project. And they're not, they're not difficult, they're very achievable. They are very achievable. And it comes with instructions as well. Right, and then and it, a lot of you have already got the plates. But if you haven't, if you haven't, then we'll put a smashing price on them for you. And also, what we've decided to do is, if, there you go, if, um, right, going to go a second time now. Let me go on this camera here. Maybe that'll be easier. Right. Then I can put my head over the top. So, sorry, back to the groovy thing. Yeah, so if, for example, we use a plate or a tool or something in the project, then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we use that plate or that tool in several projects so that you're not always having to buy more this more and more and more to keep up right um and many of our crafting friends our parching friends they know that you can you can swap plates out if you haven't got the one in the project then use a different one but anyway we thought that that would be a really great way to keep you company keep you occupied keep you busy give you a groovy friday challenge every week If this looks a bit ropey, it'd be fine. Wait, when it's done, you won't you won't notice if it's a bit wobbly. There you go. You really won't. When I was when I was halfway through this, I thought, oh, this is not going very well, you know. But then, by the time I was finished, I was so excited and so chuffed, and I couldn't wait to to hang out with you at ten o'clock to share it with you. But when I first started, I thought, mmm, and especially pressure's on because I'm using the only balloon I've got. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you're going to be so pleased with this. Don't worry if it's a little bit wobbly. How are you doing? Is it wobbly or are you doing okay? Let's have a break for a minute. My hands all cramping up. <laughs> Morning, Hilda. No room on my page. Well, do the doodle, do the do the lovely netting frame, and just enjoy the process. Yeah, it's not about. Do you remember what we were saying? It's it's not important um, whether yours looks like mine. What's important is that we we get together and we hang out. This is for me more important than anything. We have to do something, so let's doodle, right? But um, and it's creative and we're learning loads and it takes you out of your head yeah but for me what's also important is being here just being here with loads of like-minded people all trying to do the same thing well we are all trying to do the same thing aren't we you know we're trying to stay alive right now and that's why we stay home and craft shack you know and I think on Thursday if I may say so there seems to be a lot of pressure to be lifting the restrictions. And I think that you and I, we're not daft. We've been around a while. And I think what we're going to do is use our heads, use our loaves. And my loaf says, I think it's too early. I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stay home and I'm going to craft. Stay home and craft. Safe, happy and creative. You know? And so I hope you stay with me too. I think it's a bit too early. I understand. I understand where they're coming from, from the economics. But this is not about pound notes. This is about lives. And this is about the NHS. It's a not just a, it's not about my life. It's about who I put at risk when I go skipping back up the road. You know, so. So anyway, let's get back to our doodle because this is going to be so nice when it's done. Right. So now we've got that right. I know. Before and after. <laughs> but now enter the ruler, because I think this is where a ruler is really useful if you've got one. Right? And what we'll do is, we'll do this. Can I suggest we use a pencil, just because I don't want it to go wrong? 
yeah? So if we, if we do a pencil, let's just go from, let me just check what I did before, can I? Yeah, I did, see, look, like that. This is so easy. So what we're gonna do is get your ruler and you're gonna go like that and you're just gonna go to there and then on the other side. Then I've gone up like half an inch. See on the ruler, there's a grid. So, and then I'm gonna go that way. And then we do this. So this is just our way of getting the grid in place. But again, I'm quite happy to do this. See, then I line up the one that I've done there, on there, on the next half inch, and that way the lines are equidistant. That's why I'm working my way up like this. Okay, I reckon this would be great. Well, this part, this part's gonna work. Okay, so we go like that. It's not hard, is it? Anyway, going back to the groovy thing, the groovy, you know, the, the other mindful process, numero uno, um, and the, the, the groovy Friday that we're gonna start introducing if you if you're absolutely new to this and you don't know what i'm talking about but you fancy having a go we've put the the starter kit because you do really you do need a starter kit here we go in the other way now you do need the starter kit um yeah well for obvious reasons really and so we put we've put it on on a sale now and we pulled, what we also did was, we pulled the YouTube, which is an introduction to the Groovy system. Uh, we pulled it to the front of the YouTube. So if you go to Clarity Stamp YouTube, hang on. if you go to Clarity Stamp YouTube, then you'll find, oh, I'm free. Right, I've got to use those to know. You'll find the YouTube that's all about the Groovy system is... Um, is, has been brought to the front. It's just so you can find it, because we've got hundreds and hundreds of DV, DV, not DVDs, videos. There you go. So we've done our lines. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Check out, check that out. Now, we'll go the other way. Right, so we'll go to, from there to, to there to there. Let me just check that I did this on this one. Yeah, look, see? Vroom. Piece of cake this is, isn't it? Right, so we're going to go from here to that corner, but you stop, don't you? You just cut, crack across that. Like, so you cut across the, the landscape. You okay doing this? This is, this is what we call a mindful doodle. There you go. How long we got? <laughs> Be lovely when it's done. You know, and the thing is, when I'm on telly and we do we do demos on telly, I'm so used to feeling that we've got a rush and, and do it quickly. I mean, Hochanda is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I mean, if you haven't heard of it, it's, um, it's, it's a TV channel, it's a craft channel. And um, in fact, we're on today. I think we've got two hours today, Clarity, at, uh, at one o'clock and at five o'clock. And on Saturday. And it's a fantastic TV channel. Home of crafts, hobbies and art. And they, they just, it's like a whole feast of all different crafts. You know, from sewing to paper craft, what we do, and parchment, everything. Stencils, mixed media, got some smashing people on that channel, like absolutely brilliant. Hang on, am I doing this right? Yeah, that's it. So you're just avoiding, sorry to waffle, but I, yeah. So Hochanda, so, so I'm used to only having a couple of, you know, like five minutes, 10 minutes to whistle through a project. But you see what we're doing here with our doodles, is the absolute opposite of that. This is this is all about this slowing down. It's all about building um, a pattern and taking our time and relaxing into it. And if it takes an hour 
to do a little picture or a little pattern or like when we did the weave yesterday. It didn't take us an hour, did it? It only took 10 minutes. But that's the, the opposite. So I'm having to retrain so that I don't think, oh, they're going to get bored. Oh, it's going to go so slow. And, you know, because it's not about selly telly. It's about well-being and it's about the mindful process. How are we doing? Let me give you a chance to catch up. Let me have a look. Safe, happy, artsy, crafty. Fabulous. Yay. Have all the groovy stuff and never used it. Sally. Well, there you go. Got groovy, but still a beginner. Well, then Friday is going to be absolutely fantastic for you, ladies. And, uh, and I think what I'll do is I'll, put, I'll even get a link put in so that you can see where the, if you haven't got the starter kit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask somebody to put a, a link in if they haven't already so that you can find, you can find the starter kit and the YouTube. That would be brilliant. Right. So let's have a look. We got that now. Yeah. And now what we're going to do, let's have a look. Have I, I haven't put a lid on this one. I wonder if they dry out if you don't put a lid on them. That'll be a yes. <laughs> okay. Top tip, put the lid on. How's that one sorted? Right. It'll probably come back to life, but just not right now. Always remember to replace your nib when you've finished using your micron pens. These are also best stored flat and not upright like that. Because I reckon, and she said, take them all out of the pot. Look, 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 look. <laughs> this is me now. Look, take them all out of the pot where they're all standing wrong. But I'm, I've, I don't know if it makes any difference, but my logic tells me that the ink probably would be better flowing Maybe we should put them in upside down. What do you think? Right, let's have a look at this. And I'm going to use my number, my number one. Number one, numero uno. You got your number one tool? Same as we use for the outside. And now what I think is I'm going to put my lines in. We cool with this? You're not bored, surely not. Well, if you are, it's working. Right, here we go. And now we're going to go in with our pen. And we're going to go slowly. We're going to follow these lines down. I'm going to use, instead of a slidey, a slidey um, mat, I'm going to use a piece of paper. That's better. Because what's happening is, I'll tell you what's happening. This is sliding and I'm sliding with it. So I'm going to use that and that won't slide. Right, you ready? Okay, better. Right, and you can always stop. If you need to stop when you're doing this, then the best place to stop is at a joint, like that, see? So you go along, and if you think you've got to stop, then stop where there's a cross. Let's have a look on this camera. This won't take long. So you go all the way through like that. How are we doing for time? What about, because this could take a while, couldn't it? What about if we do one half? Can we agree to do that? So we'll do to the corner, like that, right? So we'll, we'll do the top half, and then, and then you can do the bottom half this afternoon. See, then you can do that bit this afternoon. Let me check, look. So I'm doing, I'm gonna pen that half, and then I'll leave that half in pencil for you to do later. Is that okay? Then that way you've got something to do afterwards as well, which I think is what this is all about, really. Right, now, let me just turn this around so I know where I'm going. Right, now I'm going to do... Right, I'll start over here now. I'm just going to do these ones in this way. Right. That's all right. I just want to go through the end. Okay, so just do the top half. How are you doing anyway? You coping? I meant with the doodle. I've completely forgotten about everything else right now. So 
I think that is the thing, isn't it? That is the magic. When you do this, especially straight lines, I find straight lines super therapeutic. Which is why I say, don't worry about a ruler. Just, just look at the road ahead. There you go. So we'll do these ones first. Comes together quite quickly, doesn't it? Hmm? We judder, judder, judder. It's going to look good when it's done. I'll tell you what, though, I'm glad I used a ruler. <laughs> I can't imagine. I can't imagine trying to do that without a ruler. Hey, there's one there. I missed one. Yeah. Okay, so you can see where I've gone and where I've not gone. You see, lighter, darker. Right, so, how are we doing? Are we all right? How are we getting on? It's early, it's not even half past yet. This is going to be so nice, this frame, that it's very simple and it's very good for this. It's very good for this. And, um, and then we'll do the little landscape inside, shall we? But let's carry on with this because now we get the effect. So what we want to do, have a look, because this is so simple. All we're going to do is put a black dot just have a look up tight and then you'll see. You've got choices really. I've used a dot. Let me get really close and let it focus. Right, see the dots? If you wanted, you could put a square in. I think the dots look nice, but you could use squares if you liked. I'm going to stick to dots, because they're easy to do. And what we're going to do is just lean on something. Lean on me. Right, and then, and then we're going to make dots. So that's it. Look, this isn't rocket science. So you doodle a dot, doodle a circle, and then fill it in. Go to the, everywhere where they cross. Do another little circle, and then fill it in. Do another little circle, and then fill it in. This is like the netting plate from Groovy, isn't it? So you've got your circle, and then in Groovy you have to go like that, don't you? If you get bored, you can, you can decide how you're going to fill these little circles. Look. So where are you today? Where are you today? I, I am still here where I was yesterday and the day before and the day before. Geographically, I'm in the southeast of England in a little town called Crowborough, which is south of London, south of Tunbridge Wells and on the road to Brighton. And it's a beautiful place. And the county is called East Sussex. There you go. And Clarity Stamp, our company, is across the border in Kent, in a town called Edenbridge. Edenbridge, which is about a half hour drive from here. Which is a decent commute. But it's pretty empty at the moment. L Factory. There are a few good people, just a handful of people, Paul Church and um, a couple of others that are just keeping things ticking over. And for them, I'm very, very grateful. Because, you know, people are staying at home. People are crafting. You certainly are. And so you're ordering your postcards, you're ordering your pens, you're ordering, you know, your bits and pieces, your groovy, your parchment, your cards, your folders, and, um, and somebody's got to post it all. And as long as the, the good, you know, the, the raw mail, as long as postman Tim and his gang keep coming, we'll keep shipping. So, um, so it's just ticking over. That's what it is. It's ticking over. It's not where it, where it was. But do you know what? We're grateful. We're grateful. We're, gra we're just grateful. We were always grateful. We were grateful before this and now we're really grateful. You know? When I, when I, um, yesterday, 
we went to mum and dad's to take some food over, um, some shopping, and uh, and we we drove across to the Medway Towns, which is on the other side of Kent, and um, oh, when we drove through Tunbridge Wells, I could have cried. The, the the shops are all shut. It's like a ghost town, and you just think to yourself as a business person, because I'm a business person, and I think, well, how are we ever going to get back from this? How are these poor people with these businesses, the garden centres and the restaurants and the and the boutiques and, you know, and Hooper's, a beautiful department store. And you just think, well, well how's this going to work? How in God's name is this ever going to go back? So, so, yeah. So, hey, clarity. We have to be, we, we're so grateful, you know. It's not where it should be, but it is somewhere, you know. We haven't had to shut our doors, have we? And, and, yeah, and we're doing something useful. You know, I think this is, for the first time in a long time, I feel this is actually worthwhile, isn't it? I mean, everything I do is worthwhile. That's rubbish. You know, what we do is always worthwhile. Um, but now, this doodling and us all getting together like this, you know, that's become really, you know, if you read some of the emails that I get from from some of you good people, you know, um, essential workers, people that are running the gauntlet, nurses, people that are right on the front line and they come home in the evening worn out and you know what they do? They get their pen and their paper out and they follow in the shack shack because it clears the mind. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and I, you know, I'm grateful that I, I'm allowed to do that. I'm grateful that you want my company. And I don't mean that to sound ser servile or subservient. I'm genuinely grateful that you understand the merits of this and the benefits of this. Right, so let's have a look at where we were. This is where we're headed. This is where we are. So we've done half, haven't we? Have you done that? How are we doing for time? This is easy. Right, so then... What I'd love to do now is just, can we do a little bit of this? This, so it looks, you wait, when you do the outside here, it really pings it together. So we'll do the half again, like we did before. So I'm gonna go around the outside and I, I turn it, I make the artwork come to me. The only thing I would say with this particular one here, what have I got here? The number one, that works. I think number one would be good. And the trick, oh, I'm, I'm off, I'm up the other end. Here we go. <laughs> the only thing I would say is when you do this, go slowly. Because you don't want to go over the edge because it looks good like this. And you may want to do something more challenging because if your board is big enough, you could put something else, couldn't you, along here. You, this is wide enough. I, you could do doodles. You could do the checker one. You know the checker one. Might be too busy though. That's what I was thinking. I wanted to keep it quite mm, delicate. Is that the right word? Do you remember when we did the checker one? Let me see if I've got them all here. I've got them all here. This one. That one. See that might look quite nice along the edge, wouldn't it? Like that. That might look quite good. Yeah, look. It's a thought, isn't it? Mm. But I'm sticking to the plan. I've learned, I learned a long time ago, it's always best to stick to the plan. Right, there you go. So we're just gonna come through here. So what's on lovely Ho Chanda today while we're doing this, right? So today, what have we got? Oh, the happy couple. The happy couple is a collection of stamps and dies and stencils and groovy plates. And the happy couple, it's that one, well, there's just a couple of little birds and a, and a tree. And it was actually what I, I, um, I drew it for our wedding, um, for our wedding invitations. And then Mel, lovely Mel Turner, she drew three more of really gorgeous designs. Can you hear those birds outside? Beep, 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 beep. Car, I wish I 
I wish I knew more about birds. The bird's song. Dave does. Dave knows all about them. He can say, oh, that's a blackbird, that's a thrush, that's a... He, he knows the... He knows the bird song. Isn't that cool? Do you know what? I think I might put one of them there. That looks like it needs... There you are. So because we're doing this... Um, freehand, what you'll see is it starts to look really arty. Don't worry about the pencil marks. We can rub all them out at the end, can't we? So along you go. See, and as you do this, what you'll see or what you'll feel is, as you relax into it, what should we do here? Let's do that. As you relax into it, your your whole focus will be on these little lines. It's just like one, two, three, four. And you still have to concentrate. Look, I've gone over the edge now. You still have to concentrate enough not to be thinking about other stuff. I mean, I could talk and do this at the same time, but then I think most women can. <laughs> when, you, when you're crafting or you're doodling, I mean, obviously at the moment, I'm sure you haven't got the radio on or the, or the music, but do you, do you have music on in the background or do you have like Ho Chanda on in the background or what do you do? What do you do? I am... Um, I actually work in silence mostly and I listen to the birds and the tick tock of the clock. Yeah, I do. And I find it very relaxing. I tell you what, I, I am not listening to the news at the moment because it's the only time I listen to the news, I just get wound up. So there's a solution in there, isn't there? And um, and all this projecting, all this, all this forecasting, all this doom and gloom, and what's going to happen, and, and our economy, and you know, the, 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 we're going back to the thir no, we're not going back to the thirties, you know. That, I didn't know that the government employed. I didn't know that all the journalists were clairvoyants. I, it baffles me, the stuff that they come out with, as if we weren't frightened enough, and then they lay that on us as well. So I, I'm all for reality, you know, I'm not, I'm not delusional, but I will not let these people fill my head with fear. I'm going to take it one day at a time. I'm going to stay sensible. I'm not feeding into this negativity that they're just loading us up with at the moment. It was as if, you know, we, how long did we have Brexit, 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 and then, and then all of a sudden, Brexit, what Brexit? Oh, no, now we've got something else to get our teeth into and terrify the general public with. Fed up with it. We're a slave to it, you know? So, so whilst I'm grateful for the internet because it helps us lot all get together and do good and healthy and wholesome things like art, creativity. Um, I'm really, I'm not thrilled with the, with the way the media are handling this. They need to wind it in a bit. They blimmin' do. I'm sick of it. And I'm sure I'm not alone. But we do have enough control, you know, I know if I don't like it, I've got to change it. And I've got enough control, I could just turn it off. I don't have to put up with it, do I? Like, you don't have to subject yourself to it. There, doesn't that look smashing now? Let's have a look. Hey, see how it comes together? Who says? Lovely. Isn't it lovely? I think so. See, and then you go all the way around, and then you rub out, you rub out with an eraser pencil, these are good. You get two. There are two different ones on our website. The the white one. There's you've got double-ended ones as well. The white rubber. This end is for when we're getting rid of the colour on the parchment. Design a parchment. It's quite a an aggressive. You can hear it. It's, it's hard. 
right, it gets rid of ink. The pink one, it's like what we're used to, gets rid of softy, you can feel it, it bends, look. Um, and that one is the one that just gets rid of pencil marks. So once we've done our doodling, right, and we're happy, then we can go th through, like I just thought, hang on, up. I haven't done this bit yet, so I'm not going to rub that out. But like this bit here, I want to get rid of all this round here now, because in a minute we're going to do our landscape. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. How are you doing anyway? We're there. Is this easier than the balloon? Is this easier than the balloon? Hands up, those of you who think this is easier than the hot air balloon. We're getting some nice patterns going. I've got a great one for tomorrow. I've got to practice it a bit yet. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to practice a bit first. But that's what I mean. I'm grateful for that. See, it gives me direction as well. My routine. My routine. The discipline. The daily discipline. There you go. Right. Now. Okay. How are we doing for time? Come on, we've got 10 minutes to do the landscape now. Yeah? Should we go for it? Okay, this is easy. So look at the landscape. Let's look at where we're headed. Right, so we've got, a, this is, you recognise most of this because we've done it all before. Let's look again. I'll put a picture on the, I will put a picture on the, on my blog. There you go. BarbaraGrayBlog.com and I'll put a picture up of the finished job so you can see what we're doing. Now, so we're going to start at the front and we're going to put, we won't worry about the little fella. <laughs> Look, he looks like he's got a huge beak. He looks like something out of The Simpsons. You know that horrible bloke with the big nose? <laughs> it's all about how you per perceive him. He's actually got a, like a cap on. See? If you look at him again now, it's not his nose. It's like a, like a baseball cap. See? And he hasn't got a... That looks like he, look, he looks like he's got a boxing glove on. He isn't a boxing glove. That's the ring that's holding the balloon together. <laughs> right, anyway, back to the landscape. We're going to start at the front and we're going to do this, this line. Then we'll do the big tree. Then we'll go that line and we'll do the, the fence. Then we'll do that line and we'll do the little trees up there. Piece of cake. All right. Am I still going? Can you still see me? Are we still live? Because my page has just collapsed on me over here. So I'm just wondering if we're still available right now. Are we still available right now? Or has the internet dipped out? I'm going to keep going because I know that we're recording this. So if it did die, it doesn't matter because we can put it on, on YouTube later and you can finish it. Right, so here we go. Let's go from upstairs. And what we're going to do, if we if I have lost you, don't worry, because I'm going to go, I'm going to keep going. And it's going to go on Facebook. There you go. So there's that that particular hill. And then what I'm going to do is pop my tree in there. So I'm going to go up like that. Big tree like that. And then I'm just going to do that like so. There you go. Large tree. Yeah? Just as a matter of interest, could somebody text me, like Jim, if you're watching, could you just text me and ask me if we've gone off air? Just let me know, because I'm not going to fiddle with anything. We can complete this on, um, it's not a problem, we can complete this on uh, YouTube. I'm going to keep going though. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the next, let's come down here behind that tree there, and let's put the fence line in, okay? So this is gonna be where the picket fence is gonna go. So we'll start the picket fence, we'll do it in pencil, we'll make it quite big to start with, because the balloon's not that high in the air. See, and then round the back of the, now it's gonna get smaller. There you go, and then it's tiny, like that. So that's how you get your perspective on there. You can make that as small or as, um, there you go. So in we go like so. Jim says, you blipped off, but you're back on now. Woohoo! Right. Thanks, Jim. 
So what we're going to do is just keep going. If we blipped off, apologies for that. It's the gremlins. Right. Just keep trucking. Now what we're going to do, so we've got our, our big tree, we've got our hill, and now we're going we're gonna to bring, this is like the downs. This is like the downs. Come round here, through there, right? And then we're going to make a sweep through there like that. I've got a plan here, right? And then we'll put a couple of trees up here. So these trees, right, all they are is just um, like a, let's make them small because they're in the distance, aren't they? So let's have a look if we can see the tree. Okay, this is, e this is easy. So you make a, like a, a cocktail stick like that. And then what we're going to do is just make, it's like a leaf really, like that. That's quite a tall one, isn't it? Right, so forget that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, oh, the joys of the eraser. Instead of doing that, we'll go to here and we'll make it smaller. There you go. Cause it, and then straight away, further away. It's fascinating, isn't it? Perspective. And then we'll make another one like there. There you go. This one will make him a bit longer and taller, like that. Then we'll do another one. We'll put one behind that one. There you go, like so. And then we're gonna make the long, do that as well. So we've got three there. Let's do a fourth one, just cause we can. We'll put this one a bit separate. So we go like that again. And then I'm gonna make a cocktail stick like that. Okay, so we've got our four trees there, that'll do. I've got five in mine. I'm gonna put another one up here now, a little tiny one. Now, the further away, the smaller it gets, look, real rinky-dink, that one. Miles away. Let's have a look. Easy. So you've got one at the front. We did all this last week, didn't we, when we did the house that Jack built. Then you've got your fence. Piece of cake. We know how to do that. Then we've got these trees. All right. Right, you ready? So now we've done that. And then what we want to do is we're going to add just the lines, the, the branches of the trees. Only on one side, though, I reckon. That'll work. So we'll just do that lightly so we know what we're doing. There you go. And then we're going to pen them in a minute. We all right with this? Am I back on? Because at the moment I'm looking at a black screen here. Yes. Doesn't matter. If, if we lose, if we lose, if we lose contact, I'm going to keep going and then we'll put it on YouTube. Right. Got that? Nice. Now, penning. Number one pen. There's me number one pen. And I'm going to... Ah, this is where I went wrong last time. 005 pen. 005. See it? Hang on. This is rubbish, grey. <sighs> Pens. What I need to do is make this the this pen. I'm using these Micron pens and I'm going to use the 005 one. Look, I'll show you. And the reason that I'm using the 005 one is because I want to make these cocktail stick trunks really fine. And, and so it needs to be fine to do this. So we'll start at the top. What's that? Oh, it's the window cleaner. I wondered what on earth was happening. Right. See, so you need to, so you're going to go up like that and then really tight. Let's do the cocktail sticks with a number five tool like that. Right, here we go. So I can't even tell him to stop really because the windows do need cleaning and I'm glad he's arrived really. I wonder if he can cut hair. <laughs> I wonder if he's any good at cutting hair. <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> right, you ready? And then we're going to go round like that. I could probably use the number one pen for the trees. Here we go. So round we come like that. See, and once you start penning, start from the tip and come through. How are we doing for time? Oh, this, is, this has been quite a, a mammoth one, hasn't it? 
Let's have a look. So we've done that and we've done that. Round we come. I'm not going to rush it because I suppose that defeats the whole object of the d -d doodle. Doesn't it? And you're going to go like that. If it takes a little bit longer, it's not the end of the world, is it? Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Where are we going? You in a rush? There you go. So you've got your trees. Get the angle right. <laughs> if the angle's wrong, it looks weird. See, I'm going a bit taller. Yeah, there you go. Do you know what I'm doing? I've just realised. Go parallel with your frame. That looks good. Optical illusion. There you go. They look good, don't they? Voila. I haven't done them all, but you get the picture. And then we'll do the sweep. We'll do the sweep. Right. You stay there a minute while I tell the um, the window cleaner to... I'm doing a live TV programme. Because <laughs> I know in a minute he's going to bang on the door and say, right, that'll be so and so much money. And it's like, so, and then he'll keep banging. Until I... So I needed to let him know that I've got friends in the building at the moment. Right now, when we do this, there we are. Like so. I'm glad he's able to work. I was wondering about him the other day because I was looking at the kitchen window and I thought, God, oh, blimey. Because of the rain and the wind and it throws up all the dirt and the... I thought, can I be bothered to go and clean the windows? Not really. Can Dave? Probably not. <laughs> Poor old Dave. See, so when you're doing the fences, do you remember when we did the fences? Yeah, look. It's all about perspective, isn't it? Do you know I love doing this? I, I just love it. There's nothing quite like it. And then we get down the, down the end, they get tighter and tighter. And now you're just getting little dots and spots. And then it's really miles away. Do you know we're nearly done? I'm just going to add my lines on my tree. Are we still going? Are we happy? So I've done this line. Oh, I want to put this in before I rub it out. Right, here we go. So that's that hill. There we are. It's cool, isn't it? Let's have a look from upstairs so we can see what it looks like. Who says? Look, so we're nearly there now. All we've got to do is write up, up and away and the shadows and a couple of little birds. And I want to show you something, right? So here, definitely... The fields, isn't it? If you take a ruler, since we happen to have a ruler in front of us, oh, hang on a minute, there's a, there's a field here as well. That one, see, it goes through there, and it goes like that, and it actually comes out there as well. Might as well, real, real time, right. But, say I take a, I'm gonna do it with a pencil to show you, so you get it. Say I want this now, if you, if you ever drive down to the coast, the south coast, as you come over the south downs, all of a sudden you see the water, you see the channel, right? And then it just peeps through the hills. And when you put a straight line behind, let's see if we can do this. Suddenly, check it out, it's an optical, all of a sudden there's the water. Just because we added a straight line. I mean, it doesn't, isn't that crazy good? See, and that to me epitomizes the doodle. When I can just take a straight line, like that, just pop that in there. Mind my head, sorry. Go through like that. And then all of a sudden, my balloon, look, is going over the water. Isn't that super? And then we take our, our eraser and when we're happy with all our 
line art, because we're going to do the line art, right? And when we've done that, then we can add our shading. But we have to get rid of all the line art doodle, all that stuff first. But check it out. And, and so all of a sudden, I, I think this is just so lovely. Um, we're, we're at the coast, which is a place that I'd really, really like to be right now, you know. And then all, all I'm going to invite you to do, because we've been going for an hour now, an hour, can you believe it? What I'd invite you to do today, if you feel inclined, is to add a little bit of shadow. So the trees, they need a bit of shadow. And you know how we did the blooms? Well, you do the trees in exactly the same way. Let's have a look. So you're going to add a little bit of shadow here. Yeah. Pretend that the light is coming from this side. So if the light was coming from there, then you could add the shadow on the hills, like that, of the actual trees. And the way to do that is use the flat of your pencil, like that, just the flat of your pencil, and just create a, a basic shape of a, see, just lightly. You can always rub it out if you don't like it, but that is pretty much what we're going to do. A little trunk, and then you're just going to go up like that, where it's fatter, and then it'll get thinner, see, like that. And that'll be your shadow. And then do the next one. This one's going to be a bit taller. So you're going to come up, then you're going to get fatter, and then you're going to get thinner. Look. And then if you want a little bit of sun on the water to create that illusion, you know how you do that. Just a little, little bit like that. And then it looks like water. If you feel you need it. I think, oh, yeah, there you go. That makes a difference too. So lots of shading to do. And then the last thing to get this real kind of pop you take your pencil and where you're going to go now is you're going to put your, your shade along underneath that line, right? So it's going to come along underneath here, like that. I've overcooked it a bit. It's because we haven't got, I haven't done the, the dots and what have you in there, but you want to put a line under here, right? And a line under here, under this one here. I'm going to finish this later. So you're going to do line here, and then the the but the the gondola, the hot air balloon here, the hot air balloon, right? This is going to be in shadow as well because this is going to pop. See, so because it's in front, so all of this round here, this has all got to be shaded now. This is where your shadow goes round here, round here, like that. Right, you watching? Are you watching? <laughs> Are you still here? <laughs> right, like that. And then you're just going to make this look like, let me show you, you come all around here and it looks like it's sitting on top of the, of the frame. And that's what we want it to do. And then take a piece of paper and then write without bring, coming up for air like this. Up. Just keep, don't come up for air. See if you can do this. See if you can write a whole piece like that. Just like joined up writing like we used to do at school. Do you remember? Like that. Oh, hello. Ave. Up, up and ave. <laughs> up, up and away. You see? And then just write up, up and away. Oh, and then the only other little... Our friends are our birds. There you go. And there's my two friends in the, in the sky. So that's what we're going to do. I hope you enjoyed that. There's plenty of homework there. Stuff to get your, uh, to just get your head going. Enjoy it. Sit in the garden, sit on the balcony, sit somewhere in the shade. Get your pencils, have a little go. And then... Um, have a gander at the, the, if you're into what we're doing, have a look at Groovy if, you, if it's something that you haven't heard of before. Go and have a look over on claritystamp.com. It may be something that you enjoy too. But you know what? It's all about the doodle today. It's all about this and about enjoying your downtime and not being isolated and hanging out together. And so tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, I shall be here again and we'll do something a little... Um, 
a little simpler, shall we? We'll stick to some really nice patterns. Like, oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. That feels so good. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Bye-bye now.